Hey friends, you know that you need an autoresponder, but you're not quite sure how to get started. I've got your back. We're gonna learn the crucial elements of setting up your autoresponder. And we're gonna be using Aweber because it's one of the simplest email marketing solutions out there. An autoresponder allows you to do three amazing things. Firstly, it allows you to collect the email addresses of people that want something from you. It allows you to send emails to these people anytime you need to. And thirdly, it allows you to set up automated email series that get sent as soon as people join the list. That's power. So whether you're trying to collect leads or customers, we're gonna go through all of the elements required. The sign up stage, the creation of the list, the connection with other services, automated email series, and sending emails as and when you feel is appropriate. And at the end of this video, I'll be going over my best email autoresponder tips. So let's get started. So the first step is the easiest step. It's the sign up stage. By clicking beneath this video, you're gonna go through to a trial page where you can sign up. Now, the important things to consider here are that you put in the correct information. They're gonna ask for your name, your email address. They're also gonna ask for your postal address. This is really important because anyone who sends emails online is legally obliged to provide their postal address. So make sure that you get this right so you're all set up 100% correctly. And then in the next step, we'll be on the inside. So once you're logged in, you're gonna to wanna to create a list. This is another admin side of the setup, but it's really simple. And essentially a list is kind of like a folder where you can add email addresses and contacts and also apply messages for when those new subscribers uh, jump onto the list. So let's get started. You're gonna jump up to the left hand side, pull down the drop down menu and click on create new list. Okay. And then now you're gonna to start to put in some very basic information about how the list is gonna interact with subscribers. So you're gonna choose your name and your company website. You're then gonna select the postal address that we spoke about in the previous section. You're then gonna choose the name that you want the subscribers to see when they receive emails and also the email address that they see when they receive these emails. Then you're gonna put in a list name. This is gonna help you identify what the list is because you're gonna want various different lists for different ways that you are obtaining subscribers, different websites, uh, different categories, okay? And then you're gonna to wanna to put in a message in the list description so that if anyone ever decides they want to leave the list, they're not interested in receiving those emails, they can see a reason as to why they were added to this list. So you can say, you know, added to the list by X website um, for this lead magnet, so and so forth. And then the user really knows and understands how they were added to this list. The final step in the creation stage is choosing your language and then modifying the email that will be sent at the point at which someone subscribes, okay? Because as soon as someone subscribes, they'll be sent an email by Aweber to confirm that they want to join this list. This gives you the opportunity to modify this. So you can change uh, the subject headline but you can also click here and you can modify the actual message. So instead of it just saying, please click the button below to confirm that you'd like to receive emails from, you can say, um, you know, we're sending you this email because you've opted to receive our lead magnet, which is whatever it's called, uh, to receive this, you click this button for instant delivery, you'll receive it in a subsequent email the second that you click this button. So it, it maintains the connection with the user so they don't get distracted, you don't get lost, they know exactly what is happening. And then once you're happy, you can just click approve and create list and your list is created. The next thing to consider is 
how you are going to connect Aweber to the website where you are getting the leads, your squeeze page, your landing page, your sales page, whatever it is. Okay. So Aweber has two ways of doing this. Either you can do it via their API connections, that's an advanced um, connection, or you can do it manually by pasting code from Aweber onto your website. Now, regardless of what way you are doing it, you want to go into Aweber and create what's called a sign up form. Okay, and this sign up form will, will automatically be utilized if you then use the API with the website or you can use this form to paste this form onto your site. Okay, so if you go into the Aweber, once you've created the list that we did just before, you can go down to sign up forms and you can click on create sign up form. You want to click on for my website. And this is going to give us just a real basic page where we can formulate a sign up form. Okay. And really, regardless of what's going on, you don't have to worry about what it looks like unless you specifically want to design something, you're going to paste that code. But I think most people that are watching this video, you don't have to worry about this. So we're just going to go through and we're going to delete all of these sections here so that all that we all that we've got is these three sections the name the email and the submit button because that's what's going to be replicated most probably on the website that we're connecting now if we're not collecting names on our goal website you can delete this as well okay and just have the email and the name okay we can then click save form we can then click go to step two and then we can give it a name. So I'm just going to give it Y2X1. Okay, so the thank you page is the page that Aweber will redirect the user to once they have subscribed. Once they've clicked that button, yes, please send me this uh, lead magnet, they will redirect it. So you can have it set up as basic and it will just come up and say, you know, you've been subscribed and have the Aweber logo. Or you can actually choose a website of your choosing okay so if you've got a system if you've got a funnel or a squeeze page and a download page or whatever it is you've got multiple pages here in the thank you page you can choose custom page url and in here you can paste in the url of the page that you want to send the user to next so it's really really important likewise you can do the same here if they've already subscribed so they may have already got onto your list they've forgotten you can do the same here um, but for the purpose of what we're doing, I'm just going to choose basic so we can get through to the next page. I'm going to click save form again. So it saves it. And then I'm going to click go to step three and that's it. We are now done. So this form is now connected to this list. I can either click here and get the form or depending on the website I'm using to create my page, my sales page, my squeeze page, I can connect through the APIs of those websites and choose this list and it will utilize this form automatically. Right, so now we move into automation and this is the really cool part of an autoresponder. It's the actual autoresponder section. So the, the idea behind this is that someone clicks on the button because they want your lead magnet and their email address is provided to Aweber, it's put onto your list and then Aweber can send pre-written emails that you've pre-written to that user. And this will happen automatically at any time of the day, as long as someone joins the list, okay? So it's working automatically, clockwork, and it works super well, okay? So the way that we do this is we go to messages in Aweber and we go down to campaigns and we create a campaign. So we click on this big green button, click create campaign. We'll click uh, blank campaign and I'm just gonna give it that name. I'm gonna click create and I'm going to click on subscribe. Okay, so you can see here it says start campaign on subscribe the trigger for the campaign is new subscribers, okay? 
new subscribers. So what do we want to do? We want to send them a message, okay? So you can see here on the left hand side, we've got send a message, we've got wait and apply attack, okay? So the basics are just really send a message and wait, okay? And we want to basically formulate a series of emails that will be sent out uh, periodically once this person's jumped onto this. So if we click on send message, We'll, we'll click here and what we can do is we can click on this right hand side where it says create a message we can click uh, drag and drop email builder and what that's going to do is it's going to jump across to the email builder where we can actually put an email together so I'll just click here this uh, draft one that I've got and I can click into the title got to, got to have a title something that's uh, that's going to uh, be eye-catching because you know everyone gets so many emails these days. So make sure you've got something that's gonna uh, stand out from the crowd, use emojis if you think it's appropriate. Then we can click into the uh, the text, highlight it all and paste in what we've got here. Now, um, what you wanna do is you wanna format, format it, make sure that it's okay. So you wanna make some lines here. So let's put in some lines. And what you can do is you can go through these emails and you can you can format them a little bit more if you would like to. So, you know, just make the lines not as, as long. Uh, it usually makes it easier, particularly on uh, smartphones, etc. So you can go through this and you can do this, but it's gonna take forever. Uh, if you've got links, which you probably will, so to download your lead magnet or whatever you can see for this, this is for one of my training programs, the Ultimate Commission Club. Um, I can highlight some of the text here and I can put in a link. So you can see this link here at the top of the screen. If I click on it, having highlighted some text, I can paste in a URL, click OK, and that will become a link. So a clickable link within the email. So make sure you've done that. Make sure you format your email exactly how you want it. Make sure that you've got, um, you know, personality. It's not robotic in the message and then click save and exit. Okay. And this is going to take us back out to that page that we just showed. Now I can drag in wait and I can drop a wait in there and you can see it's one day before next action. But on the right hand side, I can change that to be longer you know, minutes, hours, days, months, whatever. And then I can then drag in another message, okay? And I can drag in another wait. And I can so and so forth, and I can start to build up this, this selection of emails, okay? Now you wanna send a variety of emails that are talking about your lead magnet, whatever it is, introducing you, um, introducing what you are going to be providing to the people that have subscribed to this list. You don't want to send things that are completely out of the blue. You want to make sure that they, they're happy to be on this list. They're happy to receive your lead magnet and they're happy to receive more, regardless of whether it is free content or promotional. Okay. So once you've done this, make sure that you go down to the bottom, click the save and exit button and click save and exit. Okay, now there's some issues because obviously I didn't do all the, uh, the messages there for this purpose of this example, but you can see this says draft here. Okay, now if I didn't have the issues, okay, because I didn't choose the message, you can see here it says choose a message. If, I, if I'd done this properly, I would be able to activate this campaign. If you do not activate the campaign, it will not send the messages. So people will come onto your list and you will not send those messages. We've done that mistake before in the past and had hundreds of people join a list and then not receive any of the emails because we didn't click activate. So make sure that you do that. Then once you've done that, your autoresponder is ready to fire. So the last thing is sending broadcast emails. Now these are just messages that you send to subscribers on your list anytime you feel it's appropriate. You can go to the message tab here, go down to broadcasts and then click on the drag and drop email builder. 
So just like we mentioned in the automation section is exactly the same as you can see on the screen. You type up an email and you send it. The difference here is that it will be sent to everyone that is on your list at this point in time. It's not added to the sequence. It's just for the people that are on it right now and as russell brunson said in his dot com secrets book when he was talking about something that he coined called the seinfeld sequence you want to be sending emails to your subscribers on a regular basis just to build that relationship it doesn't matter whether you've got some you know massive content or a big promotion you know sometimes it's all it's about entertainment okay so it's keeping your subscribers entertained building that relationship and you know continuing to send these emails where it doesn't matter whether it is 90 percent entertainment and 10 percent content or promotion just keep doing it building this because when you do have content when you do have promotions you know you've got a list that will be engaged and will click on these emails so these are my top tips for your autoresponder. You wanna provide a useful and actionable lead magnet to new subscribers. I prefer a training course or a high quality PDF. Both are really easy to put together. Make sure that you deliver this lead magnet in the first opportunity. We're talking about the very first email that you send the moment that they sign up onto your list. We don't want them jumping through too many hoops. Be consistent with the emails that you send. So send more than you think that you should. Make a regular schedule every single day or a couple of times a week because we don't want them to forget who you are. Be real and authentic. Don't send emails that look like they've been typed up by a robot. Create emails that have your personality in them so that people can get to know you. And if you want more great tips, watch the next video.